He was born on Christmas Day, which is why his name is Noel, but that's not what this story is about. It's about Noel's hobby, which involves his kayak and hundreds of bottles of cans that are no longer littering Thetis Lake. Veronica Cooper explains. There, that's ready. Parked at Thetis Lake, Noel Frayne is putting his inflatable kayak on his back. This, I retired, I guess, about 10 years ago. We're in business. Well, I bought the boat about two years ago and realized fairly quickly, if I just go paddling somewhere after half an hour, now what? And he came up with a wonderful answer. Well, paddling around the lake, looking for bottles and cans and, and rubbish, basically. Not only is Noel helping to keep Thetis Lake clean, he's getting fit too. I lost my mother, I guess, just a little over three years ago. I thought that wasn't a big deal, but I guess it was because I was packing away the food. Early March will be two years I decided to first unplug cable and then get rid of my TV. I know that, so I can't, I can't watch check. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> but, you know, that was the start of it. And then, because I'm not watching TV all day, every day, I'm getting out walking. I'm getting out on this paddling, and weights just keep coming off. So, you know, start it off, you grab a can or two, and then you get more and more into it, and then it's like an addiction. I think it's a really great thing to do, and it's a really big um, thing to keep our beaches clean and our lakes, and I think it's um, really nice that somebody takes time out of their day to do that. Over the past two years, Noel has picked up more than 460 bottles and cans near the lakeshore, and other stuff too. Lots of shoes. I found at least three or four full beer that were in, in the water and been there for a long time. Lots of dog toys. Oh, I think it's fantastic. I wish more people uh, were inclined to do that. Very inspiring, actually. And it's maybe just inspiring for people to pick up their own trash when they leave, because that would be a nice thing to do to help them out. And he doesn't do this for the money. I guess I could, but to me, the, 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 the fun of it is, is the finding them and picking them up. So I pile them up all over there right in front of the trash thing, take a picture of them, because I want my record of what, what's been taken off the lake. And then I just throw them in there. And whoever cleans that out for the CRD, they'll cash them in. I think it's a good thing, and everybody should do that. So, you know, keep this stuff clean around here. Now 40 pounds lighter, Noel is feeling strong and fit at 77, and he knows his mum would be proud. But she made it to 101. So you're well on your way to 101, I would well, I hope so. Oh yeah, I don't see why not, you know? <laughs> Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.